the kid that you don't wish to meet her. The devil in a 10 years kid. The girl who's supposed to play with kids. Chose to kill them. Mary Bell. The smallest serial killer in the history. The girl that was only 10 when she started committing her murders. In a quiet city of Scotswood, England, the 25th of May 1968, where kids supposed to play as usual. Mary Bell strangled four-year-old boy, Martin Brown to death in an abandoned house. Police were mystified. There were no obvious signs of violence, but Martin's family started to suspect days after his death. When Mary Bell showed up on their doorstep asking to see him, his mother said, he died. Mary said, yes, I know. I want to see his body in coffin. Two months after the first murder, Mary Bell and her friend Norma killed three years old, Brian Howe, by strangulation. This time, Mary mutilated the body with scissors, scratching his thighs and butchering his penis. Mary and her friend used a razor blade to scratch the letter M onto his chest. And there was another disturbing note, the lack of force used in the attack suggested Brian's killer might have been a child. Police decided to interview the kids of the city if they saw something suspicious, but Mary Bell and Norma had acted strangely. Police called her back for a second interview, and Mary, perhaps sensing investigators were closing in. She made up a story about having seen an eight-year-old boy hit Brian on the day he died. The boy, she said, had been carrying a pair of broken scissors. That was Mary Bell's big mistake, the mutilation of the body with scissors had been kept from the press and the public. It was a detail known only to investigators and one other person, Brian's murderer. Both Norma and Mary broke down under further questioning. Both girls were charged, 